Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. I'm Nina, your host, and of course, I'm a, a quirk in my studio. Uh, this is where we actually film absolutely amazing. At least we can continue with our show because not everywhere is open, and it's hard to get a show like I have into a studio or whatever we where whatever we want to do. And um, you know, over these pandemic times and this COVID nineteen and the whole bit, but we got through the whole thing. I have Lady Ruby with me. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Lady Brandy. I don't know. Where did I get Ruby from? I don't know. I, don't know. I got Ruby out of my mind. <laughs> Lady Brandy with me. Um, and you have a club here. You have a jazz club in blues. town. Hmm? Blues. Yeah. You have the blues. But yes, you also do jazz a lot, don't well, you? We do uh, We do a blues, jazz, you do it all. old school. Yes. So you have a mixture out there, but mostly R&B. Well, and it blues, is R&B. Yes, and, uh -huh. yes absolutely. Yes. Now, you've had that for some time out here, right? Uh, at my club, it's been over for four years now. Four years. Uh -huh. um, how's it going? It's going. Well, you should well, really ask now, I guess. You well, know. yeah, it's, it's coming back again. Yes. Uh, it's, and it's going really good. We only had, uh, this is my fifth show this Saturday, so. Oh, really? Due to the pandemic, but. It's going very well. Now, when you do a show, you do your own show, and do you have other people come in and do their shows as well? Or uh, just yes. yours? I do on, on Saturdays nights, I do my own show. Okay. But I do have special guests, uh, R&B artists that come on the show. Okay. And then uh, Friday nights, we do R&B nights, in which I bring other guests in and do their Do you ever thing. have uh, um, L.B. Shaw on? No, I haven't had Never that. had Arby Shaw? Mm -hmm. Arby Shaw was one of the first people, actually, that really made um, R&B really quite popular uh -huh. in the early, what was that, the early, late 80s, I uh -huh. think it was, around, yeah, that, sure, yeah. around that particular right. time. Right. So now, how's it all going for you now? You're opening up, this is your fifth Saturday that you've managed to mm -hmm. sort of, you know, put everything together. Yes. Um, did this change your way of thinking or change how you do things or what can suddenly happen in a world that you're so used to performing out there and suddenly you get shut down yeah that's true uh well basically doing the shutdown it gave me the opportunity to remodel my club oh cool so that's what i've been doing cool and you know at home i'm singing and dancing and i'm always doing that so um that's that's basically what I've been doing during the shutdown and uh, we is remodeling the club and everybody loves it when they come in now so it's, it's pretty good. Well, I think I'm going to be coming in in June sometime. Yes, I'm going to come yes. down there and see what's going on and yes, what's happening hey, in, oh. in this club. That's on Sahara. What's the address? Uh, nine five three East Sahara Suite B thirty one, and that's inside the commercial center. That's inside the commercial center, which which is right behind the uh, old Hilton, right? Uh, yes. The Westgate now. Yes, it's, yeah, it's right behind now. the Westgate there. Yes, it is. And it's a very large um, um, center, if I remember yes. rightly, but it's quite easy mm -hmm. quite easy to, yes. to find. So are you getting a lot of your followers coming back and they're all excited? Because mm -hmm. everybody cannot wait to get back out yeah, there. Yeah, they are ex totally excited. Every Saturday, they've just been so happy that I'm in welcoming me back. And it's been really good. Uh, with them coming back and me seeing them and uh, me them seeing me, yes, they are excited. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. You're gonna give me a couple of bars or something, you know? Can Ooh, you me? sing something? Uh -huh. Yeah, I wanna I wanna hear your voice. I wanna hear my voice. Yeah, so let me see what can I do. What would you like? Um, <laughs> I love to put them on a spot. I yeah, mean, they, <laughs> they said, Nina, how can you do that? I said very easily. I just ask. <laughs> okay, I'll do something. Told me. It was over. Then I saw you and her talking. Something deep down in my soul said cry. I love it. That's, that's, that's all I get, but that's enough. <laughs> that is enough. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, do you write your own music? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I have some about before just now. They don't yes. write their music. Now, it's funny because a lot of people in the, in the industry do write their own music. And why did you choose not to? Well, I have so many people just ask to write for me. So, so they write I, for you. Yes. So they do become your songs. They yes, are your songs. They are my songs. They are your songs. Yes. Do you ever interject in any of the songs that they write that you'd like to change words and change things? Yes, I do that So it does become your own song. Yes, it does. Yeah, it yeah. does. You might not write it as as of. Right. Do you ever come up and, sh and, and share with them ideas of what what you would like and how you would like it? I sure do. So she does write her own songs. She just <laughs> doesn't sure physically do. write them down. She's had enough people to <laughs> take sure care of her. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, who 
are the people you've you've worked with? Because I know you've worked with a lot of oh, high end yes. people. I work with Denise Sal. Oh wow. Millie Jackson. Yeah. Al Green. Oh Green. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> yes, he is. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> uh uh Jeffrey Osborne, Big Rob. Quite a few people, you So know. you've done with a lot of them. Now, do they ever come to your club and perform there or sort of, you know? Uh, they haven't, um, you know. It's been Recently, a while, no, basically, yeah. when I'm... Because I, I perform outside of my club, too. Yes. You know, like at the East Side Cannery, Mandalay Bay, different places like that. And sometimes I open the show for them. Yeah. So Are you starting to get called back and starting to see things happening? You've yes. got dates coming up. Where yes. you're going, oh, what are the dates? When are you going to perform? Well, the most of the dates is out of town is in Denver. Okay, that's uh, okay. Denver, we'll, we'll forgive you for leaving uh, town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have um, and I have a show coming up in Arizona, Denver, Detroit, California, and uh, here the East Side Cannery. The East Side Cannery yes. that you're going to be performing. Yes. So have you found it's a little bit slow coming back? The fans? Yeah. Oh, found it slow? Yeah, found it slow. You know, it actually it's been very good, I guess, because people are so anxious, you know, to get out. And as far as I go, yeah. uh, I'm, I, 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 haven't, I just haven't stopped. You I'm haven't stopped, stopped at all. No. So have you been doing recordings? Do you have CDs out or have you been putting stuff together? Yes. Matter of fact, I have a song come out uh the, one of the coasters is uh, writing a song for me, by the way, right now. It's called Meet Me at Lady Brandy's Place. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> so that's going to be all, that's gonna be all about y'all. It, yeah, yes, it's, it's, be... I heard it. It's real nice. He's working on that. Then I have a song called Another Woman Sleeping in My Bed. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Once he has, I have a nice day. So I got like five different songs coming out. And is um, that all, are they going to be all on one CD? Or yes. they going, they're all going to be yes. how many songs? Because I, I I like to ask this question because I I always think there's too many songs on a CD. Mm -hmm. And how many songs do you like to put on a CD? Because I like every one to be really one I want to I want to hear. Right. And sometimes they they put like two songs that are really great, and then you have all these other songs that you really don't have any interest right, in. Not right. that they're bad songs. Don't misunderstand me. But it's just that you're interested mm -hmm. in really you know. Yeah. I, I I like to put at least six on there, six to six to nine. That's good. That's mm -hmm. not too many, but yeah. it's enough. You know, right. the people can play in the car and then mm -hmm. they're driving and exactly. the whole thing, yeah. and so they can be entertained. You mm -hmm. know, while they're driving, whatever they're doing. You know, yes, whatever the case may be. Where do you see at the moment the music industry going? Because we've we've kind of changed an awful lot with the epidemic. It's not going to come back the same. What do you see happening in the music industry? Well, I actually see depending on who's working and who's not and who's singing and what type of music because mm -hmm. we got all, all sorts of music out there. So it, I, I think that uh, it's really going, going to move forward because since everybody's been sitting down and sitting back, they're basically writing music. So when well, we come back... That, that's the wonderful he, thing about yes. what I see yes. is that people have been sort of in their homes and all of a sudden they're writing songs. That, exactly. Um, they've also time. got their own band in their home yes. so they record it and mm -hmm. they put it all together. Because this day and age, everything is so easy with technology that you can, you know, if you don't have a drum system, you can, you know, you've got it on the internet. Right, and if you exactly. don't have a, you want <laughs> yeah. a violin or you want a flute, I don't know if anybody will use a flute, but <laughs> maybe a bass would be yeah, better. Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> you could put a whole orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> have you done that? No, I haven't done that. You like to have the full band. You like the to have the whole band, thing. Yes. You like to see them. You like to have them there. I got to have them there. You've got to have gotta them there. Got to have live band, live it, music. Is, does, does that make you somebody different? Because they don't. a lot of people don't do that. They interject. But you sure you not. like it live. So I have to have a live show, live band. A lot of people do the tracks, but I've never done tracks before. I've also been always been live. So you've never actually been in a studio just singing and they've got all this technology going, bringing in all the different tracks. Mm -hmm. oh, when you, when actually, when you first start off with the song, yes, you have to do that. But yes. when you get After all the, everything laid down, then you just got to get to bring the live band in. It sounds so exciting. Yeah, it is. When you go into <laughs> studio, when you're going to record something, you get all excited or you get nervous. Or how do you feel when you're sort of, you've got this song that you've been working on and, and now you're bringing it out and you've got all this yeah, excitement. It's, it's exciting, especially the person that wrote the song. You really want them to be proud of what what they've done for you. Yes. So uh, going in and singing it, it's it's exciting and energetic to me makes me like, 
Okay, yeah. He I, I read it. It's for me, so I got to really do it you, and do it you've right. You've got to bring that out, and you've got it. to bring that. Out. Yeah. Do you get nervous a bit at all, or, or worry because you maybe you might miss a word, or maybe you you know you just you know sometimes we feel good and sometimes we don't feel so good. Mm -hmm. Do you ever sort of get a little nervous? Or it sounds like you get very excited. You know, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, uh, I love music. I've been listening to music so long, and once I hear that first note. It's on. You're gone. That's it's it. On. You're involved. You're... So I don't, I don't get nervous. You know, it's old when I'm when I'm out there. Yeah. So yeah. it's when you hit that first note and you're on stage, you can mm -hmm. feel a little nervous, which everybody happens. So if that happens to anybody, the younger generation out there that are starting out, if that happens, you don't worry about it. Use it. I always say, use your nerves. Use, right. use all that energy. Yes. Use all that yes. stuff. Absolutely. If you don't forget a word, dance to it. <laughs> <laughs> Start moving around the yeah, stage. Start moving like, hey, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it because you're so you're so very natural. You are. You're just absolutely wonderful, Lady Brandy. Really, you you have such a, a way about you and um, a, a very sincere way. Mm -hmm. um, how would you like to explain to the younger generation to make it like you have? Because you you're up there. You the first thing you have to keep it real. You have to keep it real and be willing to help other people. Be able to listen and learn. Yeah. You yeah. know, because one person don't know everything. So no. if you listen and learn and take heed on what a person is trying to teach you to get out there, saying mm -hmm. it'll make it e try a lot it. easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even if you don't like it, out. try it. Try it, and uh, and if you got anything to say about it, want to change, like like you say, I changed some things. Yeah, do that. So. I even, you know, I work with my sons. You know, they even teaching me well, how to write. I, now. I, I mean, I. Yeah, I <laughs> Mama is going to be rapping. So <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, your sons are amazing. Oh, you yes, know what I are. love about your two boys is that they support each other. Yes, they How are. did you manage to get that to happen? Because boys don't do that in one family. Yeah, I got three boys, and they all three. They, 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 we're, tight. we're a very tight family. I got to yeah. have that. I grew up in a tight family. Yeah. So, and so you know where they all are. You know what's going on. Uh huh. And they all have their different talents. Yes. You know, one rap, one sing, one dance. I got one that does everything. He sing, dance, rap. Uh, he's an actor. He's what you call a multitasker. He, uh, yes. <laughs> he does so, it all. Yes. Which is probably similar to you because mm -hmm. you've learned how to do an awful lot. You've learned yes. how to sort of. Um, do it all and, and you know when there's a mistake you know that mm -hmm. that should not be like that and that right. shouldn't so you've learned to produce and direct and mm -hmm. sing and, and put it all together yes. is that a, a natural given talent or is that something you kind of absorbed as you were going along actually I was around Al Green a lot and I sit oh. back and watch him and absorb what he does and oh. um, what he did you know so even his moves. I, I do some of his moves on there. On the stage. On stage, yeah. yes. And so sitting back and absorbing what he does and people really loving what he does yeah. made me, you know, fall into place. Follow into place and yes. to do the same thing, to get yes. the attraction, to get, yes. you know, everything going and, mm -hmm. and to make sure you get your audience to like it. Because yes. you've got, I mean, singers and anybody in the entertainment has a tremendous amount of competition. Yeah. You know, yeah. but that's isn't the competition you? That's I mean, that's what I don't do. I mean, yeah, I, I don't compete that. against anybody. Everybody is different. Everybody does their own thing. Yes. So I do me. You do I'm you. not in competition with nobody. I love that because there's all. nothing. So there's a lot of um, artists out there, and they're fine. That actually, you know, they they copy other people and I do other things. And I I always say they have a beautiful voice, and I always think. You've got such a great voice. Why don't you mm -hmm. just use it for yourself? That's what? it. Yeah, because they you? all have. A, a, a lot of talent. A lot of talent in Vegas, you know. Well, it's full of talent uh, in do Vegas. You, you know, do, do what you do and yeah. do you. And don't worry about yeah. what the other person doing. Yeah. Try to perfect yourself. You are an individual. Every it, You know something in the entire world, everybody has a different fingerprint. Mm -hmm. So if you've got That's a right. different fingerprint, everybody in the entire world, I don't care where you come from, That's right. has got a different fingerprint, which means you can be, you are an individual and you are different. Mm -hmm. Everybody's That's different, right. even That's if you're right. in a family. I mean, you've got three sons. That's right. And they're all, they they yeah. all do the same thing, but they all do it differently. That's, and it's true. Okay. That's true. Yes, and it's it okay, is. isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Absolutely. Yes. Um, anything you would like to present to the audience out there that you would like, I've noticed, what's the, this is um. That's a flyer. Of oh, mine. this is a flyer. This yeah. is of the um, Lady Brandy. Lady Brandy's place. 
There you go. That's Lady yeah. Brandon's place. Yeah. So don't forget, it's on Sahara. Um, don't forget to visit it. She's absolutely amazing. Um, how can anybody reach you if they want to call you? Uh, you can, uh, my website is queenladybrandy.com. And uh, my email is ladybrandy007 Ooh. at gmail.com. Or you can call area code 702-513-4592. I would like to say that I'm developing a cooperation okay. uh, that I that I have going on. It's music. My son te teaching acting, modeling, uh, music. Okay. You know, so yes. it's uh, called GIs, Genuine Inner Circle Entertainment. Okay, and yes. he's starting that. Anything else you would like to put out there that that we have both forgotten to bring <laughs> <laughs> to the forefront? You but see, then, uh, <laughs> uh, well. Come to Lady Brandy's place, I guarantee you yeah. have a great Come time. Come to Lady Brandy's place, it's uh, on Sahara, um, right behind the Westgate Hotel, you can't miss it, and uh, and watch her perform. She's every Saturday so far, but I think after May, I think from May 1st, they're changing a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. so you might become, she might be open Friday and Saturday, yes. and maybe Sunday. Actually, I'm going to be open on Friday. I have uh, a, 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 a guy coming in singing, he's sung with Shalomar. Oh, yes. really? Yes, and he said, I want to come to Lady Bradley's place out of all the places. He's coming this Friday? Uh, no, he'll be in May. In May. First in week May. in May. First week in May, he'll be yes, there. Yes, he'll be there. Okay. He sang so, Saturday, and it was so nice. It was yeah. it was nice. So you actually encourage a lot of entertainers actually to come, and they can perform mm, yes. there. I mean, even if they just do one song, just so you can you can help them get out there. Or, yes. You know, do you like to do that and help? I do. You yes, do? I, okay, yeah, so guys I'm out home there. for that. Yeah, so guys out there, if any of you are out there and you're a little bit shy and going on stage, um, Lady Brand's place is a great place <laughs> to actually, you know, do your first song or get used to the mic and get used mm -hmm. to the band and get used to everything that's going on out there. And this will encourage you. So when you do go for an audition, it'll be a little easier for you because we all know what auditions are like yeah. when you're younger <laughs> and when you're coming out there, like you, your knees are knocking and you're like, oh, what are they going to do? What are they gonna do? <laughs> like, and, you, and then you go ice cold and you can't do a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is she going to like me or not? Yeah, yeah. You're going to like me. And Just you, be you comfortable and come in and do your thing. And you do, know. Yeah, so. Or would you come there? So you've got a Live great opportunity. Absolutely yes. wonderful. Well, thank you for coming on, thank Lady Brandy. So She's just amazing. Absolutely thank wonderful. You so much. Absolutely. <laughs> it's my pleasure. And also, don't forget to go to um, YouTube, Vegas Live with Nina, and subscribe. And uh, thank you, everybody out there. We will be back with our next guest. Take care. Thank you. If you enjoy the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nina on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up, and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.